Hi, I'm Bob Godek, U.S. Ambassador to Kenya. Kenya is one of our most important diplomatic, security, and economic partners in Africa. And with over 1,500 employees representing more than 25 different agencies, Kenya is our largest mission on the continent. I'm pleased to introduce you to this dynamic post and this beautiful country. Africa's taken big strides in economic growth, democratic governance, and poverty alleviation in recent decades. And Kenya, a political leader and economic powerhouse in East Africa, has been key to this progress. Our mission plays a significant role in helping Kenya to achieve its goals and improve the lives of its citizens. Our two countries work together closely each and every day. We cooperate to improve access to healthcare, nutrition, and education for Kenyans across this country. We seek to increase trade and investment between our nations and to accelerate economic growth and create jobs. We're committed to deepening democracy and promoting good governance and mutual security. Serving in Kenya, you are at the forefront of U.S.-Africa relations. Nairobi is a busy, fascinating post and one that will provide memories for a lifetime. Outside of work, I'm sure you will find Kenya a country of astounding natural beauty with world-class wildlife preserves and a proud cultural heritage. From the magic of the Maasai Mara to the white sand beaches of Diani, from the vibrant cafes and markets of Nairobi to the city's pleasant year-round climate, I'm sure that you and your family will fall in love with Kenya. So, Caribou Kenya, welcome to our team. I wish you a productive and fulfilling assignment at this exciting and important post. Welcome to Nairobi, capital of the Republic of Kenya, a country located on Africa's east coast. Kenya's varied terrain spans the mangrove marshes of its coastline to the rolling grasslands of its southwestern parklands, to its towering snow-capped mountains, the only such mountains found at the Earth's equator. The country's fine white sand beach fringes the beautiful Indian Ocean. Its dense forests and sweeping savannas harbor an amazing array of the world's wildlife. Home to more than 40 distinct indigenous tribes, Kenya is a place of vibrant traditions and welcoming people. Nairobi, a bustling city of over 3 million people, sits at an altitude of about 6,000 feet above sea level. Outside its two rainy seasons, Nairobi hovers at a sunny and beautiful 40 degrees Fahrenheit the rest of the year. The name Nairobi derives from the Maasai phrase Nkare Nairobi, meaning cool water, describing the winding Nairobi River. This city has also been dubbed the green city under the sun because of its lush terrain and temperate climate. Kenya was colonized by the British in 1895. Nairobi was but a small village until 1899 when the Ugandan Railway laid its tracks through the town. Easy access attracted many British and Kenyans alike to the hospitable climate and environs of this location. Nairobi soon supplanted Mombasa as Kenya's capital. After World War II, Kenya, as many of its sister African nations, pushed for independence from its colonial relationship with Great Britain. Kenyans protested and fought until they achieved their independence in 1963. Following independence, the city of Nairobi grew and modernized rapidly, establishing itself as a center for global business and a nexus for African development. The Kenyan flag design reflects the country's history. Red represents the bloodshed fighting for Kenyan independence. Black represents the indigenous population. Green symbolizes Kenya's beautiful, fertile landscape and natural wealth. And white is for peace and unity within Kenya's diversity. In the center of the flag stands a Maasai warrior shield and two spears, signifying the eternal defense of Kenya's freedom. Kenya has the highest GDP of Central and East Africa. Nairobi is a center in international banking as well as a locus for global trade with Mombasa as its main port. Agriculture is also a major player in the economy, contributing about 30% to the GDP with exports of tea, coffee, 
bananas, maize, and fresh flowers. As of 2017, the population is almost 48 million. The official languages of Kenya are English and Kiswahili. Most Kenyans speak both of these languages as well as a tribal language. In Nairobi, many locals speak Shang, a combination of English, Kiswahili, and other native languages. Over the past decade, urban development has impacted the character of the housing pool, with the trend leading away from large standalone homes and toward high-density urban compounds of townhomes and apartments. There are approximately 200 occupied embassy houses in Nairobi. All embassy houses are walled and gated around with security on 24 hours a day. There are also five embassy housing compounds throughout Nairobi. The largest housing compound and the one closest to the embassy is Roslyn Ridge, a development of about 60 houses, a community store, and various recreational facilities. Roslyn Ridge and the other compounds are very family-friendly, providing a safe environment for children to play, ride bikes, and socialize with their peers. The compounds are close to Nairobi amenities, including malls, cinemas, restaurants, and Karua Forest. Nairobi offers a number of choices for dependent schooling. The two most prevalent options are Roslyn Academy and the International School of Kenya because they offer curriculum and extracurricular activities that are modeled on American schools. Roslyn Academy, adjacent to Roslyn Ridge, is a co-ed Christian school serving students kindergarten through 12th grade. The Secular International School of Kenya also serves grades K to 12. Its high school offers the International Baccalaureate Program. There are several school choices with the British-style curriculums, too. All schools offer bus transportation for students to and from home. The most popular nursery schools, out of the many choices in proximity to the U.S. Embassy, are the Aga Khan Nursery School and Porter House. Nairobi has several hospitals with state-of-the-art medical technology and highly trained staff. These include the Nairobi Hospital, the Aga Khan Hospital, and an urgent care center in Warwick Center, a building complex adjacent to the embassy. The embassy also has a very well-equipped medical unit with eight full-time staff. It is good to be aware that newcomers often have an initial experience of altitude sickness. Malaria, while not a risk in Nairobi, is prevalent in some outer parts of the country, and precautions should be taken when traveling. The U.S. community in Kenya is a dynamic one, busy with many social activities in town and often traveling outside Nairobi to explore the great natural beauty of this country. The watering hole, Roslyn Ridge's poolside restaurant, provides a convenient location for embassy families to meet, dine, and socialize. In addition, the community liaison office organizes holiday celebrations and social events the CLO also provides weekend trips to places of interest for the American community and several trips of longer duration during school vacations. Nairobi is infamous for its sprawling traffic jams. In addition to the countless cars on the road, people are walking, cycling, and motorbiking. Not all roads are paved or well-maintained. During the rainy seasons, the potholes expand and congestion occurs at many intersections. RSO prohibits embassy personnel from using the omnipresent matatus, which are public transportation minibuses, and boda bodas, which are motorcycle taxis, due to significant safety concerns. Approved private taxi companies are available but can be pricey. Personnel are recommended to buy a car as soon as possible upon arrival. The most common cars selected by embassy personnel are 4x4s imported from Japan or purchased from the departing expat community. 
central Nairobi is ringed by a variety of neighborhoods and districts. Runda and Gigiri are the districts which flank the embassy location. These verdant suburban neighborhoods boast lush greenery and tropical flowers that bloom year-round. Westlands, a recently developed urban area close by, is where many middle-class Kenyans reside. Westlands also has an active nightlife with many clubs, bars, shops, and restaurants. Downtown Nairobi, the city's business district, contains many offices, shops, and ministries but contains significant criminal activity and is unsafe to walk around at night. A variety of shopping malls offer food courts, outdoor cafes, restaurants, movie theaters, arcades, and of course, many stores. Kenyan supermarkets offer all the necessities and paraphernalia of modern life. Local bazaars, such as the Maasai markets, sell handcrafted African jewelry, paintings, baskets, local footwear made out of recycled material, and much, much more. Nairobi has a variety of beautiful restaurants, pubs, and rooftop bars that serve various cuisines, such as Chinese and Japanese, continental, Italian, Brazilian, American, Lebanese, and Indian. Because of the diversity of tribes residing in Kenya, there is no single representative dish of Kenya, but common Kenyan food includes ugali and chapati, Guma and Niamachoma, the famous Kenyan barbecue. Nairobi National Park, a 117 square kilometer reserve, lies in startling proximity to Nairobi's central business district. This extensive parkland is home to lions, zebras, giraffes, hippos, and many other local fauna. For many, driving in this park provides their first safari experience. The park is also home to the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust, where you can see, pet, and even adopt a baby orphaned elephant. Close by, the Giraffe Center allows visitors to see these majestic animals up close and even get a chance to feed them. At the ostrich farm in Langara, you can watch these enormous birds guard their colossal eggs. You can also purchase ostrich meat and eggs. Nairobi offers multiple entertainment options, including go-karting or ice skating at the only skating rink in Kenya. Several local horse stables provide riding lessons, as well as trail rides. More options include water parks, rock climbing, or maybe trying your luck at a Nairobi casino. Karua Forest, a national forest in walking distance of the embassy, offers hiking and jogging paths playgrounds, a waterfall, and caves to explore. Nairobi nightlife will meet the requirements of the most lively night owls. There are dance clubs and many music venues which host local and foreign acts. Nairobi has a few music festivals as well, sponsored by the city's best food places and cocktail lounges. Karen, an affluent suburb of Nairobi, lies southwest of the city center. This suburb is named for Karen Blixen, the Danish author famous for the colonial memoir, Out of Africa, written under her pen name, Isaac Dinesen. Her house is now a museum, and much of that land that was her farm has become an upscale suburb with many restaurants and shopping centers. Karen is also home to the Gong Racecourse and Gong Road Forest. There are so many wonderful destinations outside of Nairobi. Most locations have lodging which runs the gamut from five-star venues to rustic campsites. There are also many easily accessible places to make a pleasant day trip. Hell's Gate National Park, whose landscape inspired the Lion King's Pride Rock and the Gorge, Laganot National Park and Ma Mount Laganot are all easy drives from Nairobi. A bit further away is Lake Naivasha, a large lake with many resorts on its shore. At Lake Naivasha, you can visit Crescent Island and walk among giraffes, zebras, and Cape Buffalo, as there are no predators on this wildlife sanctuary. A boat tour of the lake offers a close-up view of hippopotamus behavior and an astonishing array of bird life. There are over 50 national parks and national reserves in Kenya. Many of them will allow you to see all of the Big Five in a single game drive. The Big Five are the African elephant, the black rhinoceros, 
the Cape buffalo, the African lion, and the African leopard. Among the most famous of the parks is the Maasai Mara, 1,500 square kilometers of protected parkland, home to the Big Five and many other animals. One can also visit Maasai villages here and witness their tribal customs and purchase their handiwork. Amboseli National Park, another national park in Kenya, provides the best opportunity for seeing elephants and their natural environs. These are but two of a myriad choices for viewing the beauty of Kenya. If one tires of game drives and safari activities, Kenya's coast will be an appealing change of venue with its beautiful beaches lapped by the stunning blue waters of the Indian Ocean. Some of the most popular destinations are Mombasa, Diani, and Kalifi. Mombasa is the second largest city in Kenya and is also a major seaport. From Nairobi, the coast is an eight to 10 hour drive or a short 50 minute flight. The seaside resorts of the Kenyan coast provide the perfect getaway from the city life with all the amenities and leisure activities of beach life. Kenya offers a once in a lifetime experience for engaging in this dynamic and historic period of East African development. The staff at Mission Kenya are energized by the great work to be done here and the camaraderie that these fulfilling ventures engender. We are excited to have you join us. We have no doubt that your experience in Kenya will be a highlight in your career as well as your life. From viewing its amazing natural wonders to experiencing the cultural traditions of Kenya's people, this country will beguile and astound. Like many before you, you will find Kenya hard to leave when the time comes. The U.S. Embassy welcomes you to Kenya with open arms. We hope you choose to invest your energy and talents here and discover the wonder that is Kenya. Mm -hmm.